In freshman year of high school, I was good friends with a girl named Lisana. She wasn't what you would call the normal standard of beauty. Her hair was never brushed. I never saw her in anything other than giant hoodies. And she never wore makeup, so her eye bags always stood out. But her appearance was not a huge factor in why we became friends. I befriended her because she was one of the most unconditionally kind and genuine people I had ever met. Unfortunately, not everyone saw the side of her I saw. Our classmates picked on her because of her flaws, and I couldn't imagine what their words did to her self-esteem. Despite Lisana clinging to me every day of the school year, during the summer of junior year we had drifted apart. She told me she was going on a trip somewhere far away, but didn't tell me where specifically. So when school came rolling around again, I was somewhat excited to see her. On the first day of school, it started like a normal day. While sitting in my first class of the day, I glanced at the door looking for Lisana. But then the most beautiful girl I had ever seen walked into my class. A lot of my classmates broke their necks trying to get a better look at her, while I just sat in my seat, with my eyes locked on her face. How could someone be that stunning? The beautiful girl sat in front of me, then asked me how my summer was. Of course, I was confused at the fact that she talked to me as if we were old friends. Do I know you? Oh, don't tell me you forgot me over the summer. It's me, Lisana. She said it loud enough for the whole class to hear, and we all silently thought the same thing. She looks nothing like she did three months ago. A group of girls came over to ask her what diet she did, what makeup products she was wearing, and how she transformed so quickly. All Lisana did was laugh, but I don't think she ever really gave them a clear answer. Suddenly, all the people who thought she was disgusting and ugly last year were circled around her. I couldn't imagine what she went through over the summer, but it seemed like some of my classmates had an idea. Some of them praised her, telling her she looked better than ever, but for others, I could hear the whispers under their breaths. They called her a freak, a fake plastic doll. I personally saw nothing wrong with what she chose to do. If it made her happy, it didn't feel like it was anyone else's business. However, as the days went by, Lisana began to change even more. Her eyes became bigger and bigger, to the point where it was kind of creepy. Her nose was unnaturally tall and thin, and her chin became so sharp it looked like it could poke someone. It almost looked like she wasn't even a real person a month into the school year. She was so focused on pleasing everyone that she didn't even look like herself anymore. At one point, I decided that this just wasn't healthy at all. So I drove to her house over the weekend to see if I could talk to her parents. As I stood in front of her doorstep, I noticed that all her once beautiful flowers on the patio were now dead, which I thought was strange because every time I visit it, I saw her mother watering them. I continuously knocked on the door, waiting for anyone to open it, but no one ever came. So I took the spare key hidden in one of their potted plants. Silently apologizing in advance, I unlocked the door and stepped into her house. No one was in sight, which was another red flag, because her parents' cars were outside in the driveway. As I walked down the hallway, a disgusting scent filled my lungs. It was worse than the decaying flowers outside, and it overwhelmed my lungs. Out of curiosity, I opened the door that seemed to contain the main source of the rotting smell. My hands clasped over my mouth, as I saw two adults laid out on operating tables, with surgery marks all over their faces. Taking a closer look, I realized they were Lisana's parents. Behind them was a cardboard poster, with ubric photos of all the kids in our homeroom. On each of their faces were surgery marks. My assumption was that she was playing on how to use them to make herself even more beautiful. I scanned through the photos to find myself. When I saw my photo, I felt my whole body go numb. There were no marks on my face, just a circle, in perfect, written in giant red letters. Everything seemed to click in my mind. Lisana wasn't trying to look perfect. She was trying to look like me. The room door creaked open, and there stood Lisana leaning on the doorway. 
My legs shook in fear as she started to approach me, now knowing what she was capable of. I was actually hoping to keep you around, but this procedure would save me a lot more time. <laughs>